Nat Alablas here, your digital marketing sleuth. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can find out what your readers are searching for when they come to your website. Now, on most websites, you'll find a search bar, such as the one here, where people can actually look for something on the website. They can type in whatever words they like, and then the content will come up for them. Now, why would you want to find out what people are searching for on your website? There's a couple of reasons why. Firstly, you can find out whether there's any content missing from your website that your readers are searching for. So it's a great way to find out some future content ideas for you. If people are looking for certain things and they can't find it on your site, should you be producing content for this topic to help your readers? Secondly, you can find out whether your website is user-friendly enough. Now, you might already have content that the people are searching for, but they're finding it really difficult to find on your website. So by looking at what queries people are searching for when they're on your website, you can help determine whether your site is user-friendly enough. And if it isn't, you can make some changes for this. Now let's go and have a look at how we can find out what the search queries are when people are actually already on your website. So to do this, you need to open up your Google Analytics account. And on the left-hand side here, if you click on behavior and then click overview, this will give you a list of the top 10 URLs that people are visiting on your website. And it's usually for a particular period of time. It's usually the last seven days. And if you scroll down this page on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see full view full report. So if you click on that, it will give you a report on the number of times people have visited every well, most pages on your site. And then when that information comes up, I click here on page and it will sort all the pages in alphabetical order. I'll quick, click it twice. Um, and then it will show the search queries at the top of the page. So these three here, uh, these are actually things that people have searched for when they've been on your website already. So one of these is a best ceiling bathroom fan. So somebody's looked for information about uh, bathroom fans, ceiling fans for your bathroom. Um, so that could be future content that I write about. Um, someone's also searched for the word filter. So any articles that I have that mention the word filter will then appear. If I didn't have any filter articles, then I might think, okay, let's look, let's try and work out exactly what kind of filter or what does that mean? Uh, why is my reader searching for that? So anything that has this question mark S and equals, that is actual search queries that people have typed in your search uh, search bar on your website. So regularly go and have a look at this uh, information to see whether there's any content that you could come up with in the future. Um, and then that way you can you know what to write about or you know how to make your site more user friendly. So that is how you can find out what people are searching for once they have landed on your website using Google Analytics. And until next time, it's bye for now.